Series. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Our last film, The Shop Around the Corner, is one of the movies most requested at this time of the year. It's right up there with It's a Wonderful Life and A Christmas Story, A Christmas Carol, and Miracle on 34th Street. It's one of the great holiday movies. Well, nine years after MGM made that movie, they decided to pull the story off the shelf, add some Technicolor, and remake it as a musical. And although remakes very often don't come anywhere close to matching the original, this redo is very likable in its own way. This time the setting is Chicago instead of Budapest, and instead of Margaret Sullivan and James Stewart, this time we get Judy Garland and Van Johnson. This version is called In the Good Old Summertime, which sounds as if it's anything but a Christmas story, but despite that title, 90% of the movie does take place during the year-end holidays. Like its predecessor, this film also had its premiere at New York's prestigious Radio City Music Hall. And it's very rare that the music hall ever played both an original film and a remake. Our movie was one of the great exceptions to that. A big endorsement for the movie right there because the music hall only played the best. It's an ideal treat to be seeing right now too in the good old winter time. The supporting cast includes the great silent screen legend Buster Keaton playing one of Judy Garland's co-workers in what was to be Buster's last film at the MGM Studios, a studio where he was once a king. And delightful as he is, MGM barely promoted his participation in this film. Why oh why, I have no idea. There's also Spring Byington in it. There's Essie's A Call, known far and wide as Cuddles The Call, and on loan out from Warner Brothers to do this film at MGM. Also at the very end of the movie, in a brief moment, with Judy and Van making her movie debut at the age of two and a half, Liza Minnelli. So from 1949, directed by Robert Z. Leonard, in the good old summertime.